What is going on ladies and gentlemen and in this video we are going to be talking about the Basalted Warrior Drag Knight said that you're able to farm from Endless Archive. Is it worth your time? Is it worth the grind? Let's talk about it. All right, so let's hop into it, guys. So for you all that is unfamiliar with the Basalted Blooded Warrior set actually does, for my console brethren, this will be releasing on console very soon. And is it worth your time to farm? So let's kind of cover the set, and I will give my personal thoughts and opinions about it and kind of give you guys an idea of how I think this set may or may not play into the quote-unquote meta, right? So Basalted Blooded Warrior, it does have some pretty decent 2, 3, and 4 pieces, so it's going to give you mag recovery almost always good the third piece is going to give you health fantastic the fourth piece is going to give you weapon and spell damage pretty good i rather this be on the on the two piece instead of the four piece because i don't always need the recovery but i definitely always need the weapon and spell damage you know for your healing and, and your damage so the five piece um, um i'm gonna read it and then i want to explain um how it works the interactions because when I first went over this set, I thought it was going to be absolutely broken. But the more I played with it and understood how it works, um, my, my thoughts have changed a little bit. So uh, why you have it active, you can see on my character here that I had this orange aura. This isn't gear or anything like that. This is actually the aura that it provides, which looked pretty cool. So the five piece, casting an earthen heart ability grants you a rock stance for 10 seconds. While on your primary weapon, you gain Molten Stance, granting you major heroism, uh, which is awesome, which is why I thought this set was going to be absolutely broken. Uh, streamer Kitty, you're going to have to you're going to have to go over here while we're recording. Thanks for, for ruining my my one take. <clears throat> Additionally, while you're on your secondary weapon, you gain Obsidian Stance, increasing your healing done and damage shields by 14%. Uh, the damage shields is, is actually pretty interesting because you do have Fragmented Shield, and if you take the Hardened Armor instead of the Volatile Armor, you'll actually get a little bit of a word. It's actually a pretty decent size. So um, it's decent. It seems really good on paper. So the thing is, guys, about this set, um, you have to double bar it. That's the problem. I thought you were able to one bar this set only and then you'll have this buff that's applied to you and depending on your quote unquote stance, your front bar or back bar, that would determine, kitty kitty, that would determine what buffs you are going to get. That's not how this works. So in order to make this work, you have to double bar it. Otherwise you're only going to get one of the buffs depending on what bar you want and also if you, for example, let's say if you only wanted the major heroism or, or you only wanted the damage shield for whatever reason, right, on your front or back bar, the only thing you have to do is change, for example, this is my main hand and my off hand. The only thing I have to do in order to, so this is going to give me major heroism on my front bar because my front bar you know, is what it is. But if you want major heroism on your back bar, you just simply put these weapons to your back bar and then just completely redo your um, bar layout. So you'll technically have major heroism on your back bar. Um, so the thing is guys, um, there are other sets out there that pretty much do the exact same thing. The only reason you would ever want to run this set in particular is to have a really high uptime on major heroism i'm sure the 14 percent increased healing is really nice because that's like a unique buff as well as the damage shields the damage shields uh, not so much it doesn't really um, come in clutch um, in most instances i mean this does apply to your your leap for if you run leap on your back bar for whatever reason your your ferocious leap you get the shield there um your citric order ward that you use um that works there and i i think if you want it to be a real a real hipster if you want to run like left hander's girdle and you get that that shield when you roll dodge um that could potentially apply to it but i don't think you're you're really going to need it so um, this set compared to other sets like Drake's Rush, Drake's Rush, um, you'll run that just because you can have major heroism not only on yourself, but you can provide it to everyone in your group. And the only thing you have to do is just bash it. And it's also a one barable set, which frees up a lot of different build um, variations. Or you could run Daedric Trickery. So the difference between this and Daedric Trickery, again, is you have to double bar the set. And while it does kind of hone in on the effects that you want from Daedric Trickery, you know, for example, in Daedric Trickery, you'll, you'll want 
uh, major heroism, uh, maybe major protection, and one of the healing buffs, a uh, major mending or major whatever the other major healing buff is. So you can't have like a, a one in five chance to get major heroism with Daedric Trickery, and then you have a one in four chance to get it with Daedric Trickery, you know. So, um, you know, as the set progresses, because it, it won't repeat a buff that you already have, right? So um, in that regards, I, I think it's just more advantageous at this point to just run Daedric Trickery. Um, there, there's really no upside in running Basalt. Um, other than it will narrow down the buffs and you can pretty much have a uh, major heroism uh, when you want it But you have to be on your front bar if you're a solo player like me You're probably gonna be spending like 70% of your time in your back bar and you're not even going to benefit from major heroism anyway So um, that's not to say the set isn't good. Um, it is very unique It is a it is a class specific set and from what I've heard there will be more class specific sets come to ESO probably um, at, at, at the beginning of the quarters or at the end of the quarters and we'll just see how those sets are going to pair but as of right now as as a meta changing set it is good i use it um uh, i use it in duels use it in open world it is it is a solid set i mean it, it really is like when you're on your back bar you need the healing you get the healing when you need it and when you need to keep with the pressure on your front bar you have major heroism active allowing you to get to your ultimates quicker and because you get to your ultimates quicker you are able to use them to abuse the battle roar passive right so more ultra use more generation that you're going to have on your resources which kind of frees up some build options because you're not kind of pigeonholed into running like all recoveries or you know re reduce spell costs assuming you can keep up the pressure um on your opponent or if you're in a group you know to where you can kind of diffuse that pressure a little bit you do have really high uptime on major hero with them and in so doing, you're able to push more raw damage instead of recoveries. So that is one plus to the set. But the, the cons, I think, just outweigh the pros. You can see here the Basalt of Blood, Blooded Warrior. Um, you get it from Endless Archive, right? Um, the best way I found to do this is just do Arc 1 over and over and over. And you're guaranteed a set piece. Or if you want to push your luck, go to Arc 2 and you'll get to encounter an invader. So you'll get one guaranteed piece from completing arc one one guaranteed piece from completing arc two and then if you kill the invader you'll get another guaranteed piece and by the time you get done with that when you go back to the beginning and reset your hourglass you'll have enough points to get you a fourth piece so you're able to get four pieces in probably like half an hour or something like that um it, it's not too bad but the thing is this comes in light medium and heavy armor and all the traits can vary so it will take you a little while to fill out your sticker book if you want to farm this. So uh, that is the downside. And when you compare that to something like Daedric Trickery, you can just craft it. Um, when it comes to the meta and how I think things are going to shift, um, unfortunately, the Masters Arena weapons are still here to stay. They are going to be very uh, prevalent in this meta. I really hope that people get so tired of them that they don't use them. We will have a build coming out here pretty soon that's not using any of this cheese. It is using sets already available in the game and it, it is a pretty, pretty awesome Dragonite build. I must say so myself that it's not going to rely on all these proxics to, to do all your damage. So um, if you guys want to come check it out during the streams, I do stream three to five times a week uh, on both uh, Twitch and YouTube. So uh, go follow me if you haven't already you made this portion of the video. Please like and sub because we're going to have a lot of endless archive content coming out and a lot of builds thereof. I got to go through and update a whole plethora of my builds going forward. And before you guys peace out, I just want to let you know I do have a secondary channel for variety content. It's mostly going to be FPSs, hence the name Horcrux FPS, right? Um, it's going to be particularly focusing on um, games like Call of Duty, Apex, Halo, Overwatch, I'm pretty much max rank in literally everything. So if you guys enjoy that type of content, please go give me a sub over on my secondary YouTube channel and uh, try to get that kick started as soon as possible, right? And as always, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons as well as my community members. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Let me know down in the comments if you found this video useful at all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.